Greg Muir, Julian, what's the best bar you ever went to? Best bar I ever went to. Okay. There's this bar in somewhere in England, London, I think. Uh, it's called the Swan, I think, or the Black Swan or the Swan. It was really cool because, you know, it was a very, very old pub. But it's, they, they got the, the terms uh, on the wagon and one for the road from this, this place because it was the last spot that these guys, the criminals, would be taken to before they got to the gallows to be, you know. <clears throat> so they take them to this pub and have one more for the road. So it was kind of cool, these guys, you know, they were going to fucking die. So, you know, they were on the wagon until they got to the pub and then they had one for the road. Very cool. I got really drunk there. I think Bubs actually pissed himself. Um, Gregor Steuben, whatever the fuck that is. What's your favorite breakfast? Like, what the fuck kind of question is that? My favorite breakfast is, it's kind of fucked up, but I like bacon on toast with peanut butter. My old man used to make that for me when I was, you know, five or six. It was good. I gotta stop talking about family shit, though, man. It's kind of fucked. Michelle Crockford. Julian, who would you say, if anyone, is your model in the way that you have lived your life? Uh, well, I always looked up to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought he was a pretty positive dude. Um, you know, I read his books watched his movie workout routine and one thing I liked about him and it always stuck with me you gotta avoid saying words like I'm gonna try this or I might do this you gotta knock those out of your fucking vocabulary it's I'm gonna do this and I will do that and I will accomplish this stay positive that's why I like him plus I mean look at the shit he's gone through he's banged women all over the world he's gotten trouble in his marriage guy's still positive still making movies kicks ass AZ death whistle Okay, have you ever had a supernatural experience? Uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard to tell. I was pretty drunk and kind of heard some shit being thrown around in my trailer one morning and got up and it sounded like boxes were being thrown around out front here and got out here, there was nothing. Like, fuck, because I had a steak knife on me. If there had been someone breaking into my trailer, I would have stabbed them. Um, Amanda, hey, Julian, you got a girl? If not, are you looking? Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I kind of play the field a bit. I don't want to get locked down until, you know, I feel like I'm successful enough to get into a long-lasting relationship. Because, you know, money makes things so much easier when, you, when you're in a relationship. And when you don't have it, you, you can't treat a woman the way you want to. All right. Eric Sugar Rose, how do you really feel about Leahy? Uh, I mean, Leahy, I've known him all my life. He's... He's really not a bad guy. I mean, he, he means well. He's, he's been through a lot. He's just got a serious, serious fucking drinking problem. I mean, if he could just learn to pace himself, I think his life would be a lot better for him and, and better for us. Graham Clark. Is it hard being sexy all the time? Hey, Graham, that's a really fucked up question. And I'm really uncomfortable with all this sexy talk and shit. It's very... It's fucking weird, man. So, how about I just tell you to fuck off, Graham? Graham Clark, fuck off. All right, that's it. Cheers. Got work to do.